Hello my loves, this is Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. I hope you all are doing well. I'm coming to you for an energy update for those that are dealing with your twin flame. This is a channel for those that are on a twin flame journey. So I have some love messages, some tarot, as well as some oracle cards. So hopefully you'll find something here that resonates with you. If this does hit home, please go ahead, show me some love, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. So we're going to get into your reading. Also, as you know, um, I am doing a personal love reading special offer, $33 till November 11th. If you're interested, take advantage of that. I also have another channel that I do on the side, which is um, called Serendipity Tarot. I do love readings for all the zodiacs, so certainly visit my channel if you feel inclined to as well. All right, let's get into your reading. Spirit angels, guardians, guides, what messages do we have for those that are on a twin flame journey? What do they need to hear right now? I'm going to start off with some tarot. What messages do we have for those that are on a twin flame journey? Oops, any more messages here for the collective? Any all messages here for the collective? What do they need to know about their twin flame? What is going on? Any all messages? Clear, concise, accurate messages here, please. This is a timeless reading, so it can play out now. It can play out several weeks from now, okay? All right, so you're dealing with someone who was just not committed, okay? They had some commitment issues. The her fought in reverse. It could be a Taurus. I feel like when you guys came together, you certainly could have saw some kind of forward movement. Maybe initially you weren't interested in the commitment from this person, um, or maybe they just weren't interested in the commitment from you. I just feel like what you guys weren't on the same page regarding commitment, okay? That's what I'm seeing. We got the justice in reverse and the two cups. Yeah, so there was some kind of, um, you may have felt something here was unfair. You may have been dealing with this person. I feel like you certainly could have had a very strong connection, a strong bond here with the two of cups. They may have deceived you. You may have thought you guys were working toward a commitment with each other. And I feel like it came to a point where this person... Um, you either found out they were not committed to you. They may have involved with themselves with another person, another love interest, okay? Um, but I'm just feeling some of you guys, they weren't even able to offer you a commitment, okay? Some of you guys, they may have gone through something in the past. It could have been a divorce. It could have been a bad relationship. I feel like they certainly could have been jaded. They may have been hurt in love before and just was a little bit fearful of commitment. I'm getting a real fear of commitment for a lot of you guys here. And I think that's the only thing that really separated you guys because this person did love you. They did care about you. But yeah, you felt that there's something here. This person either mistreated you, okay? Something here was not quite balanced, all right, in the connection. Could have been dealing with a Libra as well as what I'm seeing. You guys were on the page when it came to like the emotional bond. But I just feel the only thing that... The only thing that really separated you guys was that this person just couldn't commit okay and again it could have been something some kind of marital energy here whether your person was previously married um the five of cups is here so your person does have regrets okay about a past situation that didn't work out with you um they do look back at the past situation i do feel like they're trying to move on i do feel like they constantly remind themselves of something they didn't do with you some regrets some remorse. They do feel guilty, okay, for not offering you this commitment in the past or for stepping out of the boundaries of the connection if they weren't committed to you entirely. But yeah, you feel like this person, like, did you wrong? I mean, I, I think a lot of you guys didn't see it coming, okay? In the end, maybe if you were working towards this commitment with this person, right, with the Two of Cups, yeah, I feel like in the end, you probably found out this person just couldn't commit to you, okay? Or they just weren't interested. It wasn't like a goal of theirs. Let's find out. Six of Pentacles came out with the Knight of Swords. 
So this is some, someone who's now thinking about it, okay? They're very much in their head about you, right? Five of Cups, a lot of emotions and feelings here. They certainly view you as their person. Two of Cups, right? Their soulmate. They did have a bond with you, and I feel like the issue came down to equal give and take, okay? Something here wasn't entirely equal or balance, okay? This person didn't reciprocate. So, you know, I feel like you could have put a lot of time and energy and effort into the connection, moving things forward. You guys both saw the vision, but I feel ultimately you're dealing with someone who, in the end, they just couldn't provide for you. They just couldn't deliver, now, I do feel like your person with the Knight of Swords could be a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius. This is someone who wants to communicate with you. They do want to come rushing back, right? You are definitely someone that is very special to them, okay? they Again, they view you as someone that they've they had this incredible connection with, okay? They have not found anyone like this before. Um, and I feel that they kind of want to, you know, come charging back in, okay? They, they have something to say. There's something on their mind with the Knight of Swords, okay? You could be dealing with someone who's very, um, they kind of hide their emotions, okay? In the exterior, they kind of come off as cold, detached, like they're not really interested, okay? But I do feel like your person has a lot of regrets about not offering you this commitment in the past. Perhaps they couldn't, okay? They were may, may have been in a situation where... They were already involved in another prior commitment, okay? Even if you didn't know about it, there's something that stopped this person from being able to move toward you in a commitment, okay? So, yeah, there's definitely a lack of balance, a lack of reciprocity. You may have felt like this person mistreated you. We got the Four of Cups here. Yeah, so this definitely was a missed opportunity. This person rejected you for certain, and I see that, you know, they have regrets about that as well. Okay, there's a lot of emotions here with these cups, four cups, five of cups, nine of cups in reverse. That's essentially a lack of fulfillment. Your person is not happy wherever they are right now. Being separate from you, they're not happy. They're not fulfilled. Okay, there's a lot of sadness with that five and four of cups in reverse here. Let's get some more messages here. For the collective, those that are dealing with their twin. Yeah, I feel like this person certainly could have been entertaining someone on the side with the Six of Pentacles, okay? You may not have been aware of it, um, but I do feel like your person was very casual initially, okay? They didn't really think they'd get really involved. They didn't think they would really end up falling in love with you. And the Five of Wands, so your person has some internal struggles about giving entirely themselves to the connection, okay? There could have been some roadblocks. There could have been some family or friends meddling in the connection that created some challenges and them being able to move forward with you. All right, let's get one more card here. Wow. So we got the eight Ace of Swords here with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, this is someone who's who has some truth to say, okay? They have something to communicate with you. The Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords, all about clarity. This is someone who wants to come rushing in. They want to speak their mind. They want to clear the air. So if there was kind of some kind of um, misconception or misunderstanding, okay? At least they feel there's something that was misunderstood or they were misunderstood by you. They want to come in. They have something to say. It's kind of rushing, very impulsive, right? So if this person reaches out, it could be through text, it could be through social media, but it's very, very quick, it's abrupt, it's random, it's sudden, okay? You may not even see this coming, but I feel ultimately this is someone who wants to say something, right? They, they have something to say. It is truthful, it is honest. So in the past, if your person wasn't speaking, if they were silent, um, there's something on their mind, right? They have something to say. Um, it's regarding their inability to offer you a commitment, right? The Three of Pentacles in verse, you guys weren't able to come together, weren't able to collaborate, to build, okay? Um, function as a team, as a unit, okay? As a union, right? Because this is definitely a strong partnership, a union here um, that's on their mind about you. So the Three of Pentacles in reverse is definitely could be indicating that your person was involved with a third party. There was someone getting in between the connection that ultimately stopped it from being able to move forward or that ultimately, um, you know, this person was putting in effort with, okay? So they couldn't devote all their time, attention into you, okay? So I'm going to pick some Oracle cards real quick before I get into clarifying what I'm seeing here. Any messages for my Twin Flames? We've had a Twin Flame journey. Any messages regarding the situation? Okay. 
Okay, let's see. All right, so we have the cassette. Okay, so this is someone who is constantly thinking about you. They're thinking, playing events in their head over and over and over. Um, they certainly keep listening to songs that you guys listen to when you guys were together. This is kind of like a broken record. So this is someone who's thinking of you, right? The five of cups, the four of cups. There's a lot of sadness, a lot of regrets, remorse, feeling guilty about the situation. And so they're constantly playing something over and over. Maybe some of the things that they said, if they said, you know what, I'm not interested in you. I don't care about you. You know, all those things were, were lies, okay? That's why your person wants to come to you now with truth. Um the cassette also just, yeah, just talks about your person is so um, stuck in the past, okay? They're constantly um, in the energy of a, of a past situation, some of the things that were said, some of the actions and behaviors, okay? There's a lot of remorse. There's a lot of sadness here, okay? Now, let me get some additional messages. What else do we need to know? For those that are on Twin Flame Journey, let's see. Okay, we got the coffin and the phoenix. All right, so the coffin, okay, so this is someone here. So you're dealing with, it was definitely um, a big ending, okay? We got the rest side piece, we got the coffin. It's all about some kind of ending. Think about like the death card. However, with the death, okay, there's transformation. There's a new beginning coming, right? So I do feel with the Ace of Swords, Aces are all about new beginnings here. This is someone who wants a breakthrough, right? Has something to say. They want change, right? There's been some kind of ending and now they want to come forward. They want to power forward and literally come to you with some truth and effort to have some kind of new start, a new beginning, some kind of transformation in this connection, okay? Because, well, they're not happy of where things stand right now, okay? And so we also got the phoenix, okay? So the phoenix talks about a new phase. Um, it talks about rekindling, just like the coffin energy, the death brings a transformation. The phoenix does too. The phoenix is, is about some kind of big change. It's about renewal, a revival. Um, I do feel like you guys are going down this spiritual journey where there's a lot of growth, okay? There's a real, a, a lot of getting to know oneself. And I do feel a part of reason as to why they're coming back with this Knight of Swords very quickly, very impulsively is because, well, they changed their mind, right? They're thinking about something, right? They're looking back at the past. Yeah, you know, things weren't equal. This is, this is essentially in their feelings and emotions. So this is someone who now wants to give equally. Now they want to put in the work, right? Now they look at you as someone who is of quality, someone who they value. You are important to them, right? Six of Pentacles is them now. Well, they want to give to the situation right there's all something here that isn't quite complete for them all right so i'm gonna pull some romance angels and then at the end i also have some some messages that from your person what they would say to you um if they could okay all right what else do we have to know about this connection here for those that are on a twin flames journey okay all right, we have the retreat card, okay? So it's time to disconnect from the world. So you may be dealing with someone who's already silent right now. You guys aren't talking, you're not speaking, right? Um, it could have been the energy of ghosting, but ultimately you're dealing with someone who needs their, their space right now, right? They're trying to get their thoughts together. There's a lot that has happened, a lot that has transpired in the past, right? We had that cassette energy where you know, this person's constantly living in the past um, situations, things that were said, things that may have been hurtful, right? They can't seem to get over it. And so your person now needs time to retreat, right? Take a step back, withdraw. It's kind of like the hermit energy, spending a lot of time in solitude, spending time with oneself, right? The phoenix energy, because there's some kind of transformation this person's going through. I feel like you're, you're causing this person to now look at themselves a little bit more deeper, look at some of their imperfections, look at their faults, okay? Any other messages here for those on a twin flame journey? Any messages here? Messages here. So we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this person certainly could be going through something regarding um, their family. Maybe in the past they've had issues, okay, with their family. Um, they certainly could have 
been brought up in a family that was very um, dysfunctional. Um, maybe they didn't have both parents in the household. They certainly could have suffered some kind of abandonment or ne neglect or something here that is impactful in their life, okay? Maybe even a reason as to why they may be fearful of commitment, okay? They certainly could have um, grown up in a family where their parents were non-committal or you know they may have seen their mother or father step out of the connection okay they may be something that this person grew up around okay there's some kind of family issues this person may have to heal okay maybe they're doing some shadow work right now um, but also there's a need for, to forgive okay forgive someone forgive their parents forgive you okay but there's definitely some issues um, if they have issues regarding commitment which I see a lot of you guys are dealing with someone who may have been non-committal I do feel it's because of some family issues some deep-rooted family issues childhood um that they, that kind of took place during their early childhood that affects um their ability to commit okay um we also have a let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally okay so some of you guys may be trying to control the situation maybe trying to direct it down a certain path maybe wanting your person your twin flame to do the work to reach out to speak to you right you kind of have to just let things go, let things be, let things play out the way it should. Know the universe is very much in control, okay, of your love life. It's control of the situation. You're going to have to just let this person do their do their work, okay? Because just as you've gone through something very troubling, right, in this connection, it's challenged you. You've done the work. You've healed. You're trying. Or you're actively healing, right? Um, but you're going to have to let this person do the same, right? They're going to have to find their way. All right, let's see any other messages and then we're going to go, we're going to clarify as well as get some messages again from your person. What would they say to you if they could, if you guys were talking? Okay, any messages? Messages here. Okay, we have the sadness card yeah so I definitely picked that up a lot your person is definitely very very sad very very distraught right now the five of cups right the four of cups can't get over the past um, very very like almost even depressed right that you know they let you down they've let themselves down okay a lot of sadness right now with your person is what I'm seeing we also have healing yeah so again there's healing taking place. You're healing. This person's healing. You guys are both doing your work. Um, different stages. You're at different um, places in your life, right? Down the spiritual journey. Um, there's healing taking place, okay? And that's why you have to let go of control issues. You're going to have to just let things flow. Again, let the universe take control. Let, they, let them do their work behind the scenes, okay? But yeah, you, you focus on your healing, okay? There's still healing needs to take place. Your person has a lot of work they need to do as well. And then last but not least, we have inner child. See, yeah. Yeah, I feel like right now this person is looking at their inner inner child. You get their force to go within. Um, I really feel like there's something in from their childhood as well that, again, is it's challenging them in this connection or is just really caused them to um, pull back, to not really be able to surrender and move forward with this connection, okay? So there's some inner child wounds that they may be healing from. All right, I'm going to get some... Um, some clarity. I'm going to clarify a few of the cards here. And yeah, let's get you some more messages. Clear, concise, accurate messages here, please. Okay. One more good shuffle here. All right, let's start with that Hierophant, okay? So this is someone, you know, couldn't offer you commitment, could have um, broken a commitment here with you, okay? You could have been committed to them and they ran away. Um, it could have been a divorce here with the justice in reverse, okay? Something was definitely unbalanced. What's this Hierophant about, Spirit? Okay, four cups came out. So again, yeah, missed opportunity. Your person feels, you know, they did something, they regret, right? They rejected you. They rejected a commitment. They wasn't interested in what you had to offer, okay? Now, why is the justice card here? So the justice talks about, it could be a legal situation. Maybe you guys are in going to court for something, but it could just literally be in balance, okay? We got the Empress in reverse. If you're the divine feminine, this person may have certainly did a big injustice towards you, okay? Um, 
and it could be again a divorce but i'm feeling a lot of you guys i feel like they may have mistreated you they may have really hurt you deeply right they weren't really nurturing they weren't really um caring for you they weren't putting your needs first as the empress okay um spirit is also telling you you may need to focus on your self-love okay as well that your love shouldn't be dictated by this person or their actions towards you should come from within now, what's this Two of Cups? I mean, this person is very much aware that you are their person. This is a soulmate bond, a soulmate contract is what I'm feeling for a lot of you guys. The death in reverse. See, there's something that needed to change, right? We got the coffin energy. Death talks about endings, but new beginnings, transformations, change, okay? So this, I feel like a lot of you guys, this death was very much necessary in order for this to move forward, okay? In order for this to move down the right path. This is like all divinely orchestrated. Everything that happened here. The Five of Cups. What's this Five of Cups about? Some remorse, playing back, old memories, right? Cassette energy. Can't get you out of their head. Thinking about some of the things that were said over and over and over. What's this Five of Cups about, Spirit, please? What's this Five of Cups about? Okay. We have this Queen of Cups and we got the Seven of Swords. So yeah, if you guys are taking on this Queen of Cups energy, you were very loving, you're very giving, right? You're very loyal, faithful, okay? Um, this person could trust you, right? You were the number one support person. You just gave, gave, gave um, unconditionally to this person. And I feel they deceived you, okay? They may have, you know, manipulated you. They could have cheated, lied, hurt you. Went behind your back, did something that was very dirty and grimy, and they, they hurt someone who loved them the most, okay? This could be certainly your energy. You also could have water in your energy, or you could have just been that person who was just loving, giving, okay? You, this person could do no wrong in your eyes. You just loved them, and this person took advantage of you. So the Seven of Swords in reverse is your person wanting to clear the air, wanting to right their wrongs with you, right? If they did you dirty, lied, cheated, deceived, you've been dishonest, this is them wanting to clear the air because they're very regretful. They're very hurt. They're very sad and disappointed in their actions. Now, what's the Six of Pentacles about? This is typically about equal give and take, right? So you're hang, you got the hangman, okay? So this could be a Pisces. Um, but ultimately, I see your person wanting to balance out the scales, right? We got the justice in reverse and the past things weren't balanced. So now this is someone who wants to bring balance, right? Reciprocity, wants to give equally. So I feel like with the hangman, this is someone who doesn't really know how to do it just yet. They're thinking about it, right? They want some kind of ending. They want a new beginning here with you. They want to come rushing in, but first your person has to figure out, come up with a, a plan, a strategy on how to bring balance back, right? So your person is in the hangman energy. They're trying to find their way, okay? They may be looking at things from a different perspective, right? Finally seeing themselves in a different way, seeing themselves have how they've let you down, right? They've caused you a lot of hurt. They've sabotaged this connection here. Now, with the Knight of Swords, what's this person? How they see moving forward with you is the Knight of Swords. Well, they want to come, rush in. They want to communicate. The Knight is, is ultimately on a mission, right? The Swords is about truth, clarity, communication. So your person wants to rush in and communicate with you. So let's see how this looks. What's this Knight of Swords? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Wow, look at that. The Page of Cups. So your person knows that they owe you an apology, right? So I feel like your person certainly could be procrastinating, okay? Um, but your person definitely knows that you deserve an apology. Um, they want to ask for forgiveness, but they're struggling on how to come towards you, right? Now the Four of Cups. What's this Four of Cups about here? Yeah, the Seven of Cups. So your person is a place where they're very confused. Um, they're trying to get clarity right now, right? There's a lot of emotions um, with the Seven of Cups and the Four of Cups. All Cups is about feelings, emotions, and all that. So I do feel your person is in a place of confusion. They're trying to sort things out, right? They know they've missed an opportunity here with you. And I feel like they're trying to, to get you back. They're trying to do better. They're trying to take charge of their life, right? Um, also, again, your person could have also had options in love, okay? They certainly could have, again, dealt with someone else, cheated on you with that seven of swords as well. 
Now, the Five of Wands are some obstacles or some delays or something getting in the way. There could be some internal challenges, um, struggles that they're going through and being able to come toward you. It could be fear, okay? It could be um, not really sure of how to go about it. Yeah, the King of Wands in reverse. So this is someone who isn't as confident, right? They want to move forward with you. They want some kind of action. They want to push things in the right direction. However, the King of Wands in reverse, he's not so confident. He's not so sure of himself. He certainly could feel powerless. So you, the person could be going through some um, self-esteem, some issues in being able to make this possible. Um, because that Five of Wands is talking about struggles that your person's having and being able to move forward with you, okay? Or move forward and offer you something or communicate with you, okay? So let's get that Ace of Swords. What's this Ace of Swords about? We got the outcome truth clarity but also yeah wanting to work on this wanting to put an energy and effort into the connection right the eight of pentacles about building coming up with a plan um building a strong foundation again right and ultimately your person wants to tell you that this is what they're willing to do right there's truth this is this is going to be clear to you so if you're kind of up in the air so what's going on what this person um is doing okay what are they working on this is what's going on so we'll get some other messages to see how what does your person want to tell you right what's going on behind the scenes what would they say to you right their higher self let's see what would this person say to you if they could okay all right, so we have number 45 could definitely be of significance to you. I just wasn't ready for what you was offering, okay? I just wasn't ready for what you was offering at the time. We have the number 28. 28 could be significant to you or your person. You are perfect in my eyes, okay? So there was nothing wrong with you, right? It wasn't personal. This person just wasn't ready for what you offered. They weren't ready for a commitment. You are perfect. You were always perfect to them. I never fully moved on from this connection. So if you guys are separated, yeah, this is what's going on. They never moved on. They're still in that five of cups, that four of cups energy. Still thinking about the past, shoulda, wouldas, and couldas, right? Wishes that things could be different. We also have the number 48. I kick rocks. I kick myself for sabotaging this relationship. So yeah, this person realized that they sabotaged something that was good, this beautiful connection, right, with the Two of Cups energy, and they're kicking themselves, right? They're, they're literally kicking themselves in the foot. We have the number 41. Um, you occupy every thought in my mind. See, <laughs> this person is thinking about you heavily. We got the cassette energy. They can't get you off their mind. We're playing thoughts over and over and over. And last but not least, we have number 20. I struggle with love. Showing you, showing love to others just does not come easy for me, okay? So this person has some um, real fear of showing love, maybe being intimate, um, showing their feelings and emotions. It just doesn't come easy, okay? So that's what I have for you. Please go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. And um, take care, stay safe, and stay blessed.